Good morning guys, welcome back to another episode of Fishing Me, your boy Dini Bass. Finally made out on the lake, sorry I couldn't get like a slow uh, intro. There was a bunch of boat out there, like there's a bunch of boats unloading so you know you gotta get with the program, hurry up and get out of the water. Anyways, we're out here on the lake, we're gonna do some bass fishing on one of my favorite lakes. So hopefully it's decent, there's a lot of pressure, I don't know if there's a tournament going on. If there is, let's see what I got, see if I can hang with these guys and uh, we'll go from there. So with that being said, make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe. It's windy let's get to action stay tuned we're not gonna put on the gopro just yet okay it's still kind of windy i still gotta like cast the setup and all that so you guys could just watch from the back so we're gonna start off the swimming Oh my god, I got one already. What the heck? Bro, first cast. It's a giant walleye, dude. Oh my god, it's a big walleye. Oh, dude, first cast. Dude, no freaking way on a swim bait. <laughs> Bro, on the freaking mag drive. Look at that thing. What the heck? Oh my gosh, dude. First freaking cast. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Look at that fish. <laughs> that's a nice walleye. Wow, that's crazy. All right, catch and release. Let's go, dude. Oh my gosh. Look at that nice large ball on a mag draft. <laughs> yes, dude. I'm freaking hot mess right now. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. Swim bait fishing is so much fun. Oh. Look at that, guys. Beautiful large ball bass. Catch your release. There's so much boat out there I could see them so I'm trying to stay away it's crazy oh I got hit what what the heck? I missed it. Dang, it didn't fully commit to it. It grabbed it. Yep, tail slice. <laughs> Freaking pike. Oh, you serious? You serious? Whoa, jeez, what the freak? You guys saw that? <gasps> Big ass pike. Got him. Got him. The big one. The more this. Hell yeah, dude. Look at that. <sighs> yep, in the grass. There we go. Nice bass. Get your release. So. On the make draft. There you go. I heard the walleye bite is pretty decent lately. Got him. There we go. Oh, that one. 
Yep, that's a bass. <sighs> Choked it. Oh my god, that swim bait's gone. Oh, got it, nice. Alright, here we go. Let's see, buddy. What the heck is my pliers? I don't know if they're pushed shallow yet. But it doesn't hurt to check. Yes. <laughs> Dude, my GoPro died too. Look at that fish. Just like I said, checked by the rocks. Nice three pounder right here. Yep, there you are. That's a beautiful freaking fish. Wow. Alright, catch and release. Let's see, buddy. It's crazy. And the GoPro died. <laughs> There's a lot of boats, a lot of traffic going around, right? People are like running and gunning into their spot, so I kind of just came out here on the flat and did some crappie fishing. Nothing big, nothing crazy, but we got our hands wet. Overall, bass fishing has been it's been okay we caught that few on clip that you guys saw there and i think it's gonna get better the sun just needs to sit a little longer it's clear blue sky so we're gonna go ahead and target these overhang docky weedy areas where these bass like to stage and ambush the prey so it's slightly windy it's not too bad now earlier it was like it was choppy so now that we're over here on the north side of the lake we're gonna go ahead and target all the docks everything that we can think of and now uh, hopefully we find a fish or two for you guys. So stick around. We're going to be flipping some jigs. Maybe throw a swim bait, swim bait again around docks. But overall flipping jigs. Uh, flipping in general and throwing the swim bait. So stay tuned. Got him. Sheesh. Dude's been eating shallow, all right. Dude, his jaw is all messed up. There you go. Jeez. I'm not ready for that. As soon as they dropped. Whoa, what the heck? <sighs> Dude, he ran off with my freaking line. What the heck? I didn't even know he was on. I didn't know dude was on, man. Big bass in the shade. Another big one. Holy cow. Not as big, but still fun. Look at that, guys. See ya. Yeah, water's up pretty good. Not gonna lie. It's pretty decent. So maybe I'm late. Somebody came through already, you know? It's gotta be very efficient, huh? Got him. Oh my gosh. Yep. Jeez. 
I can't lift this one. Nope, nope. Stop, come here. Stop, stop, stop. Got him. <laughs> Look at that. Holy smoke. As I was saying. Wow, that's a nice bass, dude. See ya. That's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. Sheesh. A fish. <sighs> Took a little while, but we got them. Beautiful bass. I love it. Oh no, I can't lift this one. Jeez, that was crazy. That's a big one. <laughs> That's a big bass. See ya. There you go. <laughs> you hit it twice. All right, guys, now that I calm down a little bit, what I've been doing all day is basically flipping into structures, right? Overhangs, trees, lay downs, broken stuff, docks, shallow fishing, okay? Things that people don't, that I don't see people do quite often anymore. I feel like fishing shallow like this is so underrated. You catch a lot of big bass, a lot of bass in general, uh, when the time is right. What I'm doing here is I'm flipping a three ounce black and blue jig with the crawl. I'm throwing it in, like I said, laydowns, trees, any kind of object that I see hanging over uh, that will create like a shelter or a roof on top of the bass's head. And when you put this jig in their home, fishing like this is super intense. Like the unknown is there. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know if it's a giant walleye, giant bass or pike or muskie, whatever, right? You don't know what it is. You don't know what's sitting in the shallow areas. Um, a lot of people think that big bass are just out in the offshore stuff, which is true. There are some big bass out there too, but it's areas like this that are not touched, right? Like this whole stretch, nobody's here. Well, maybe a few pan fishermen, that's it. Families and stuff, but a lot of the bass guys that I saw, everybody's all offshore. I get all the shallow stuff to myself. And these bass here, they move in into these covers, into these areas. One, shade, two, hideout, three, that's how they hunt, okay? So that's how I've been getting them. Like I said, it's super fun to do it this way, flipping a jig, skipping a jig. I say you should try it out. Keep it in your blood. Fishing like this is something that like technology can't teach you, okay? It can't. It's all visual, it's all timing, everything, dude. Everything plays a role when you're flipping like this. So that's what I like doing. If you guys ever get to fish with me, this is what I like to do. I love offshore too, okay? Don't get me wrong, I love doing offshore. It's just that me, it's so exhilarating to like flip in there and you get that thunk, like, People who fish jigs, they know what I'm talking about. It's so exciting. Like when they hit it and they run with it, oh, your life is on the line. Like it's crazy. Right there. That's a big one. That's a big one. Yep. Oh my gosh. That's a nice one, dude. Yep. <laughs> ah, there you go. Exactly what I was telling you guys about. <laughs> That's a nice bass, dude, for where we fish. This is really good. Look how he ate that jig. Gone, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that fish. Beautiful bass. A three pounder. See ya. So, just like that, guys. Like I said, they don't thump it on a fall. You slowly crawl it back, you pause it. When that line shifts, you know it's a big fish, so let's do it again. Dang, I didn't even feel that. Big one. Uh, 
Sheesh. It's another giant big bass. He hit it so hard, he ran towards the freaking boat. Lots of them, guys. Tanks. See ya. Damn, it's another giant. Oh my gosh. It's a big one. <sighs> yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Got them. Dude, they're in like freaking inches of water, man. That's to finish it off right there. Yes. We don't really be out here. <laughs> Get your release.